If someone had told you before the season that a wide receiver would lead the NFL in all major receiving categories, how many guesses would it have taken you to name Cooper Cup? Devontae Adams probably would have been first. Maybe Stephon Diggs, perhaps Justin Jefferson, DeAndre Hopkins. When you continue down the line, you might even wind up saying Cup's partner in crime, Robert Woods, first. After all, the two basically had identical numbers in their previous years together, and Woods was far more reliable health-wise. But that would be a far less interesting story than the one we're about to tell, huh? Nine years ago, Cooper Cup was a zero-star recruit coming out of high school, with just one FCS offer to his name. Despite putting up video game numbers at Eastern Washington and shining at the Senior Bowl, Cup did not go off the board until the 69th pick in the 2017 NFL Draft. Throw in a torn ACL and another knee injury in the playoffs two years later, and it's kind of understandable why he continued to fly under the radar. Cup was always a solid player, but not even his most ardent supporters could have predicted that he'd put together the most prolific receiving season in NFL history in 2021. He started the season with a bang as he went over 100 yards in back-to-back -back games and matched his touchdown total from the previous season in just two weeks. Those are just two of 11 100-yard receiving games for Cup in the 2021 regular season, which is tied for the most in NFL history. Include his two additional such games in the postseason, and he also had the most ever for a total season. And if we slide the yardage qualifier down 10 yards, Cup's consistent dominance shines even brighter. He eclipsed 90 receiving yards in 16 of 17 regular season games, three more than any other player ever had in a single season, and also three more than Cup had in his first four seasons combined. And he finished the regular season with 13 consecutive such games, also an NFL record. He surpassed that mark in three of the Rams' four playoff games as well, bringing his season total to 19 90-yard games, further strengthening his hold on the all-time record. He also caught at least five passes in all 21 games, a record that won't be broken unless there's more expansion. But it wasn't just the catch and yardage departments where Cup dominated. He was also a monster in the red zone. In week two against the Colts, he went off for 163 yards on nine catches, which included two scores. He followed it up with another two-score game and a huge Week 3 win over Tampa Bay. In all, Cup had seven multi-TD performances in 2021, which only Randy Moss and Rob Gronkowski have ever surpassed. But now let's look at Cup's season as a whole. He finished the regular season with a league-leading 145 receptions, which was 22 more than the second-place player. He had 1,947 receiving yards, which was 331 more than the next best mark and he had 16 touchdown receptions, which was two more than number two. His dominance over his peers was simply unmatched. He was the first player to win the receiving triple crown since Steve Smith in 2005, and he was just the fourth player to do so since the merger. His 145 catches were the second most in a single season in NFL history, as were his 1,947 receiving yards. His 16 TDs were merely tied for 15th most in a season ever. Keep in mind that Cup had an extra 17th game to hit these totals, but it's still highly impressive nonetheless. While Cup couldn't match Calvin Johnson's record of 1964 receiving yards from 2012 with that extra game, he did have just 17 fewer yards while receiving 13 fewer targets. And if we include Cup's rushing production, he moves ahead of Johnson for the single season yards from scrimmage record for a receiver. Cup's 615 DYAR, which is a defense adjusted value added stat, was not only nearly 200 more than 2021's runner-up, but it was also the first season ever to eclipse the 600 mark. Pro Football Focus has data tracking back to 2006, and in that time frame, Cup's 2021 season ranked second in both PFF grading and yards per route run. Cup wasn't exactly the world's greatest athlete coming out, but his route running prowess allows him to always get open with the best of the best. For those who want to claim his production was manufactured by the scheme, he also led all receivers with 24 missed tackles forced. He rightfully won the AP Offensive Player of the Year award for his efforts, becoming just the fourth wideout ever to be given the honor, and he was also the first wide receiver to receive an MVP vote in 23 years. In the postseason, Cup somehow upped his already stellar play. Across the Rams' four games, he set the single postseason record with 33 receptions and was second to only Larry Fitzgerald's historic 2008 run in both receiving yards and receiving touchdowns. Now, I'm about to combine Cup's regular season and playoff numbers, so this is a warning to strap in because your minds may actually physically explode.
In 21 total games in the 2021 NFL season, Cooper Cup caught 178 passes, which is 22 more than the previous record held by Michael Thomas. He also became the first receiver to ever eclipse 2,000 yards in a season, and he blew past that mark, getting up to 2,425, which was 448 yards more than Fitzgerald's previous record. Cup's 22 receiving touchdowns were just too shy of Randy Moss in 2007 for the single season record. He added to that touchdown total with clutch performances on the biggest stages, becoming only the second player ever to catch two TDs in both the conference championship game and Super Bowl of one season. Cup's clutch play all year is what really put the cherry on top for this all-time season. He caught a whopping five touchdowns that gave his team the lead in the fourth quarter in 2021. And that's not even accounting for his other huge plays and big moments, like the 44-yard bomb he caught in the divisional round at Tampa Bay to set up the game-winning field goal which of course was preceded by a 20-yard out on which he roasted Sean Murphy bunting at the top of the route. And he also ignited the Rams' double-digit comeback win the next week with 60 yards and a score in the final period. Finally, on the Rams' game-winning drive of Super Bowl 56, Cup went full San Antonio Holmes, catching four passes for 39 yards and the game-winning touchdown, which he caught twice after the first was called back via penalty. On the actual game winner, Cup weaved to the DB's inside leverage before jabbing outside to give Stafford ample room to toss the score. Never throw a fade, unless it's to Cooper Cup. Oh, and for good measure, Cup also converted a key fourth and one earlier in the drive with his legs. With the game on the line, the Rams knew what they had to do. Get the ball into your best player's hands no matter what. No Odell Beckham Jr., no Robert Woods, no Tyler Higby, no running game. It didn't matter. Cooper Cup dominated regardless of the circumstances, as he had all season. That is no fluke. For his performance, he became the eighth wide receiver to ever win Super Bowl MVP, cementing his 2021 season as the most complete by any wide receiver in NFL history.